So today I'm going to show you how to draw a short-tailed round leaf bat, which is one of the Whitley Award winners for 2021. And we've been creating a posters for them for conservation optimism. And this is the conservation project run by Aurora Tanchi. And I thought a really nice way to get you interested in this project would be to do a draw along. So I'm going to show you how to draw the short-tailed round leaf bat. So I'm going to be using a, a brush pen. These are just like felt-tip pens with a really thick nib. They're really nice drawing, but you can use any pen or pencil you like. Um, yeah, so let's get started. So first I'm going to draw the nose. So the nose of the short-tailed bat is a bit like a rounded tooth shape. So we're going to do the top first, like so. And then you descend down. The middle of the nose has this spoon-like shape, which looks a bit like this. And they've got these curves coming up from either side. And these little lines going along the bottom, just paralleling the tips of the tooth shape. It's also got this ridge at the top, which looks like this with a dent in the middle. Next, we're going to draw the eye. The eye is on the side, like this. And there's the pupil as well. You can't really see the other eye in the image and that I'm drawing from, and I will have shown you at the beginning. But <laughs> so go back there if you want to have a quick look at it. Um, next we're going to draw the ears. So we'll draw the, this ear first, the one on this side. So it looks a bit like a kind of leaf shape, I think. So a sort of straight line to start with and then bending out to a little curved tip. And then round like so. And then that's the bottom of the ear. Now we'll draw the other ear. So the other ear is more of a typical leaf shape. So it curves up from the eye and goes round. It has a nice little peak or dipping back down again. And then like the other one, it has a little bottom like this. We'll continue this into the head of the bat. So it sort of curves out like this and then continues round giving a chin of the bat and the edge. There we go. We'll then do the top of the bat's head, so connecting the two ears about halfway up. So just draw a little wiggly line, like so. And then we'll do the rest of the bat's body, so like sort of shoulder area, I guess. <laughs> so you can either do a wiggly line or a straight line for this. So I'm gonna do it like, just like that. There's maybe a little bit more detail you want to add in the ears because these um, bats have gorgeous sort of ridges to their ears, sort of arches like this. So I'm just going to add a few of them on, like this. Nice and easy. And then you've got a little line going down here just following the edge of the ear, like this. And that's where the loads of hairs are. And you have the same on the other ear and same with the arches as well. So that's your bat. I think it'd be really lovely if you could colour them in. Um, so I'm going to use uh, ink for mine and also some white pen to give it some highlights because that, this bat has gorgeous sort of pale brown um, hairs as well as the dark hair. Um, but you can use anything you want like crayon or pencil, um, maybe some charcoal would be quite interesting as well. But yeah, I, I really hope you enjoyed drawing this bat and I will show a time lapse of me um, colouring my bat in <laughs> about now.